the beautiful people at Tomlov asked me to review their finest new product, which is this digital microscope, the Trio 110. And it's a 10.1 inch three lens HDMI digital microscope, which they sent to me for free. My opinions are, of course, as always, my own. Yeah, so here it is, Tomlov 10.1. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it's a box. And it has a 2K resolution, 24 megapixel cameras or different ones. And we will take a look at it and I will compare it to the one I'm actually using right now or for a while now. So let's uh, see. Turn this around. So we have the more than a microscope Tomlov um, user's manual. That is the beast we are about to experience. That's a full color manual. Nice. We'll go into the details in a sec. So what do we have? A lot of stuff is here. We have a remote control. Um, I had one on my other microscope and I never used it because I'm only using my microscope um, inside of OBS and I'm recording into OBS directly so I don't use SD cards and stuff like that. I hate the struggle always switching SD cards and copying over files. I just have OBS here, everything just is push a button, record, done. We have a little light box uh, where you can put your specimens on top. I think this lights up if you put a cable in. Let's check. Oops, I have a cable right here. If you put this in here and this in here, should this light up? Oh yeah, it does light up. I oh, can't see it on camera. Sorry. Looks faint on camera, but it's pretty, pretty bright in person. And there's a little dial here to increase or decrease uh, the brightness. That's that. I will probably never use this. Oh, okay. It is actually seems to have seems to have a battery inside because it's still working hmm. okay why not let's put that back because oh okay and these are seemingly magnetic thought I already broke it but it's just a magnet okay that's not bad good idea so we have the star of the show, which is the microscope, but let's first take a look what we have in the box. So there's more stuff here. Plastic frame. Then we have the stand, which you can put the microscope on here, and then just move it up and down with these dials. We have cable in, we have a 40, 64 gig micro SD card, we have a USB-C and another USB-C cable and a mini HDMI to HDMI. And we have the base, which is about the same base that I already have. So here's the stand and I assume we just screw this in here somehow. Hmm. It's at an angle now, but you have to counter with this screw down here so that it that it's stable. This is 
This has a base light and it says charging here. Not sure what, what's charged there. If it is the base light. Ah, I think it is the base light because it's already on. And it's bright. So let's turn that down. And then you go and you put this on here. But I think I'm missing a screw, which should be in the box. And then we have it like this. And that's how it looks. Um, there's the connections. We have the SD card slot, USB-C for charging or for power, normal USB-C and the mini HDMI port, which I will be using and connecting this to my standard setup. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think they're in here, just two thumb screws. in here. Keep this in place. Oh, and the cool thing is, oh, that's pretty nifty. My other microscope has exchangeable lenses and this here has the lenses built in. So you just turn this and you get a different lens. That is pretty nice. And second thing I think my other microscope didn't have is if you look down here, there's lights. That's pretty cool. So I'm pretty impressed so far. I will put in the micro SD card if needed. have the USB-C cable for charging uh, or for power. Let me plug this in so that we can actually turn on the screen. Yeah, I asked them to please send me one with a, a real arm so that I don't have this base here. I can just move it around. Yeah, but they seemingly didn't get that. However, this in up here. And that should start this up. Yeah. So let's see. Push here. Yeah. More than a microscope. Please insert TF card. Yeah. So you have to have that TF card present if you want to do recording, which we don't, but I still put it in so that I don't get this message all the time. Ah, okay, the screen moves. Very good. So one thing I did like about my last microscope is that this screen, the onboard screen, shuts off if you attach a USB cable. So let me check what happens if you attach a USB cable, uh, not a USB cable, an HDMI cable to this, if you actually get something. We have to put something in here. So let me grab my adapter from USB mini to uh, from, from HDMI to HDMI mini. So nothing yet. Screen is still on, as you can see. So let's plug in the HDMI cable. See what happens. Yeah, and it shuts off. No, oh, it's back. Wait, 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 wait. Do we have a do we have an image? Ooh, that's nice. Okay, that is a super plus because I now have this screen and this screen. And uh, if you're recording and you're recording over HDMI, then you always have to look at the screen, your monitor, and not this screen. So that is already a super plus for me. Oh, and okay, just discovered that. <laughs> That's nice too. Let me show you. You have, yeah, it's very oily or stuff. 
you have uh, this right here and this increases or decreases the light you can see it if you watch here now that's pretty nifty so you don't have to use these in German they are Schwanenhals don't know what they are called in, in English um, but you could and that would give you even more light it doesn't seem to make a difference here so let's take a look at stuff so I have a whole bag of EEPROMs here let's check these out oh, that's so much better than my old microscope because you can just use a dial on the side here and uh, it's it's not too f yeah it's just focusing because you have precision here and you are really focusing with the dial and not the microscope itself is electronically focusing if you can understand what I mean it's very unnerving on the other microscope that if I turn this I don't get a focus immediately but it's searching and then after a second you see ah it's not the right focus and then if it turn again and here you have immediate response you can really focus in that's very very cool okay you can already see that I think we have to switch that off I'm not sure if this is the right lens let's switch over to so this was a thousand times lens this is a 1500 times lens let's go a little down let's get really into this let's try to see what's inside this window let's focus 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 ah there we go so that's what's inside this window. Okay. So what we are seeing is we are looking into this little thing here. You can see the print here. And then here are the wires that connect to the outside legs of the, of the IC okay so that is a 1500 lens can we go even closer with a 2500 lens oh that's that's close Let's see if i can focus here not too sure about that i think we have to go a little up for that let's see what else do we have let's get back to the thousand lens okay so that's that place this in the center now let's switch over to 1500 I'm getting closer by the way there is actually a battery on the right side of this not sure what that has to say okay let's go into the menu to MHD no file 1080 FHP yeah so it's it's a pretty cool microscope because why do I like this I like this because you can just switch lenses here which is a super plus I like this because you have this dial on the side that lets you just focus correctly we have this integrated light so you don't have to use these here and if you put this down yeah, that's pretty dark but I think if you go closer that kind of light should be sufficient let's focus again I think the effect will be bigger yeah see that's a huge difference it doesn't make such a difference if I put these lights on here only if I put them like this I can see that very very narrow together 
but then they reflect off the sticker. So I think it's better like this without these lights actually. I might even go and um, remove them. Yeah, so all in all, this is, this is pretty neat. Let me check the manual, what, we, what else we have, and uh, take it from there. Ah, first thing is, if you are using the 2500 magnification, you have to be super close. So we have to go even closer to actually get something. So this kind of magnification is really for specimens like in biology classes and stuff like that not for electronics repair. So I think the 1500 and 2000 lens is pretty good for that. Yeah, that's that's pretty cool. Another thing, the USB port on top of this is actually a 5 volt out port, so you can connect stuff that needs 5 volts. And you can actually charge the microscope. And it should be, should be charging right now. So you can use two USB-C connections, one on top to charge the camera and the screen and one on the bottom to charge the light. Since I'm not using the light, I will only charge the top here. If I pull this out now, yeah, it actually stays on. There's a battery inside. That's pretty cool. No more cables. Just grab it, use it, pull it back. I like. Ah, okay, there's one cable for my HDMI connection. But you could use, if you're using the SD card, you could use this without any, any cable at all, which is really nice. Yeah, and that is pretty much all there is to know about this. Yeah, so this concludes my short video about the Tomlov uh, Trill TRIL 110 3 lens HDMI digital microscope, which I like and which I will use in future videos because, well, that replaces my other microscope, which didn't have the battery in the screen so that I can use this without a power source, which didn't have the lights on the lenses, which didn't have the switchable lenses. Um, which didn't have the two screen feature that you can have the screen here and the screen on capture. And uh, yeah, that pretty much sums it up. This is for me now the perfect microscope. The screen is nice and bright. You can see it very, very well. It's just pretty cool. It has these nifty little features with a light here, which I totally dig. Yeah, I will not go into stuff like a recording on SD card and stuff like that. It's it's just that you can see there's a symbol up here. Uh, you have to press, I think, OK to record. Yeah, see, and then it saves this to an SD card. You press OK again and boom. Now you have your file on the SD card. If you don't want to connect to an H external HDMI source, that's how you get your files. I'm not doing that. So thanks to Tom Love for sending this in. Um, and uh, thank you for watching Retro Studio Black. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you are interested in content like this, please subscribe and hit this bell icon. I have no idea if it really makes a difference, but you never know. And uh, yeah, it's it's an algorithm, so I'm not arguing. However, thank you for watching, and I see you on the other side. Cheerio.